Hi, I'm back with another chapter of Junie B, First Grader, Toothless Wonder. Remember, our author is Barbara Parks, Barbara Park, and it's illustrated by Denise Brunkus. In our last chapter, Junie was worried about losing her tooth and what she was going to look like because she had heard about her friend's Uncle Lou. Today, we're going to read chapter three, Ow. I walked home from my bus stop very slowly. Walking is good for thinking, I think. Talking is good for thinking, too. I just wish I wasn't the first one. That's all, I said out loud to myself. I wish the other children in room one were losing their t teeth, too. Then all of us would look toothless together, and no one would throw fruit. I did a big breath at me. <sighs> yeah, only that is the dumbest thing I ever heard of, I said, because you can't make other children have loose teeth, Junie B. I rolled my eyes. Yeah, only I already know that, Junie B, I said, but I really don't want to be first, and so why can't my tooth just stay in my mouth a little longer. That's what I would like to know. I crossed my arms at myself. Because you keep wiggling it. That's why, I said. Maybe if you didn't wiggle it, it would get tight again. Did you ever think of that? Huh? Did you? I walked and walked some more. Then I did a sudden... I did a gasp, because <gasps> I did think of that, ha! I ran to my house speedy quick. My grandpa Frank Miller was babysitting my fussy brother named Ollie. Grandpa Miller, I know what to do about my tooth. I know what to do about my tooth, I hollered real happy. Grandpa Miller was bouncing Ollie on his lap. Ollie was wearing his drool bib. Also, he was slobbering and chewing on his arm. Ollie will not be popular in school, probably. Mother says he is drooly and fussy because he will be getting teeth soon. She is kidding herself, I think. Just then, Ollie started to cry. Grandpa Miller looked weary of that boy. I took Ollie away from him. Don't worry, Grandpa. I know how to calm this baby down, I said. After that, I patted Ollie's back very nice. Then I hummed real soft in his ear, and I put him in the hall closet. Grandpa quick got him out of there. He put Ollie in his playpen, and he gave him animal crackers. Animal crackers are crackers that make babies stop crying. Also, I enjoy an occasional cracker myself. After Ollie stopped fussing, Grandpa Miller came back in the kitchen and he put me on his lap. Okay, little girl, I'm ready to listen to your news now, he said. What were you saying about your tooth? Did it get any looser at school today? I clapped my hands together. That's what I was going to tell you about, Grandpa, I said, because at school, I found out that I am the first person in room one to lose a top front tooth. And so at first, I felt proud about that news. Only then I got nervous on account of who wants to look like Toothless Uncle Lou. That's why. And so then I had a long talk with myself. And hooray, hooray, I decided not to lose my tooth after all. My grandpa raised his eyebrows at me. Really, he said? You're not going to lose your tooth? Hmm. Do you really think you can do that, honey? Yes, I said. I know I can do it, Grandpa. Because all I have to do is not wiggle it anymore. And then I will get, it will get real tight in my mouth again. I am sure of it. I'm positive. I reached in my mouth and touched my tooth very light with my finger. Yep, I said, I can feel it. It's tighter already. 
I opened my mouth and pointed. See, Grandpa? See how tight it's getting? Grandpa Miller squinted his eyes. Gee, honey, I don't know, he said. It still looks pretty loose to me. Then without even asking, he reached in my mouth and started to wiggle it. No, I yelled, no, no, no. I snapped my mouth shut. Ow, said my grandpa. He quick pulled his finger out. Ow, I said right back. Because I felt a pinch, that's why. I poked all around with my tongue. Something did not feel right in there. My heart started to pound very fast. I held my breath. Then I opened my mouth, kind of sickish. And I spent my tooth right into my hand. That's the end of chapter three. Oh, Junie was worried about that tooth coming out, and she tried to stop it, but now it's out. We'll find out tomorrow what happens now that it's out.